so we will start with the module 1 in which we have introduction to the design of machine elements 1 with the code 18ME52 so this is a syllabus of uh, design of machine elements 1 so part A and part B are given here so coming to the introduction for a design is a essentially a decision making process so it is derived from a latin word or designer so what is engineering design it is an iterative decision making process to create plans by which available resources are converted optimally into systems processes or devices to perform the desired functions and to meet the human needs so what is machine design it's a use of science scientific principles technical information imagination in the description of a machine or a mechanical system to perform specific function with the maximum efficiency and economy the designer uses basic principles of engineering sciences physics mathematics statics dynamic thermal science heat transfer vibrations etc and uses his skill and imagination to produce a configuration the designer has a technical information of basic elements of a machine elements like fastening device belt chain gear drives springs shaft keys coupling bearing oil seals gaskets etc the designer knows the relative advantage and disadvantages of these basic elements and their suitability in different applications so looking at the overall uh, meaning of this uh, design machine design is nothing but using all the technical informations and uh, principles of engineering sciences using this engineering science and technical information converting the the resources into a working device so that is a uh, ultimate uh, goal of the design so the basic uh, um, procedures of machine design first step is to product specification second is selection of mechanism and material third is preparing general layout fourth is analysis of forces and determination of dimensions Fifth is uh, preparation of assembly and individual drawing. We'll see one by one product specification step one, in which preparing a list of complete requirement of the product. What are all the requires requirement of product? How it works? How it should work? The requirement may include uh, the output capacity, service life of a product, cost involved, weight and dimensions, its reliability. The consumer product appearance, noiseless performance, simplicity in, in control, and uh, all are important. So, product specification is a uh, given in the beginning. Second is the selection of mechanism and materials. So, after careful study of requirement, the designer prepares rough sketches of different possible mechanisms, alternative mechanisms, uh, and compare each other. The best possible mechanism is selected based on the accuracy, motion, efficiency, and the cost. While selecting the final configuration, factors to be considered are whether the raw materials and the standard parts available in the market, whether the manufacturing process required are available in the factory. While selecting the material, consideration is given to availability, applicability, cost, mechanism, properties, manufacturing process, and criteria of failure. Third step, preparing the general gen, general layout. Designer prepares a block diagram of showing general layout of selected configurations. Rough sketches of individual parts are prepared. Designer specifies the joining methods such as riveting, bolting, or welding. In the step four, analysis of forces and determination of dimension. So he has to find out all the forces acting on it. And finally, come out with a dimension in which analysis of internal and external forces acting on each component determined, determined likely on the mode of failure. So, yield strength, ultimate strength, endurance strength, or permissible uh, deflection. So, determination of geometric dimensions using suitable factor of safety. So, you need to find out the factor of safety for the geometric dimensions. Next, you modify and dimensions from the assembly and manufacturing considerations. 
coming to the fifth uh, step in which preparation of assembly and individual drawings in which we do the preparation of drawings of assembly and individual components on the drawings of dimensions tolerance surface finish grades specific requirements like heat treatments are mentioned in this assembly drawings it should be clear the and concise to have enough views of all the details of the drawings so prototype model may be prepared and thoroughly tested so all these uh, requirements are done in the step 5 uh, sometimes what happens is the design may require modification because of the problems arising in the production so production uh, has a many other problems so it has its own uh, problems that has to be addressed 